with 41 known species of wild cat. Most of them are struggling to maintain healthy populations in our industrialized world. This means that many of them are extremely rare and hard to find. This is part three of my series on rare animals caught on camera traps. And in this video, we're taking a look at five rare wild cats caught on camera. Welcome back to All About Nature. On my channel, I try to bring nature-related content that's both educational and entertaining. Thanks for stopping by to give this video a watch, and I need to say a special thanks to my patrons, whose support makes these videos possible. If you'd like to join me on Patreon, check out the link in the video description below. Now let's take a look at the cats. Leopards are one of five extant species of the Panthera genus. They used to range across most of Africa and Southern Asia, but over the last century, they've been wiped out of much of their former range, leaving the species as a whole classified as vulnerable. With eight recognized subspecies, one of the rarest is the Anatolian leopard, as there are only about 1,000 surviving in the wild today. Turkey used to have Anatolian leopards in about half of the country, but in 1974, what was believed to be the last of them was shot and killed. The leopards were assumed extinct in Turkey, but on occasion, signs of large cats in the region were found. In 2019, 45 years after the last sighting, an Anatolian leopard was spotted on a camera trap. Then, in October of 2022, another one was spotted. The General Directorate of Eastern Conservation and National Parks set up a series of camera traps along trails in two different regions of the country that they suspected the leopards of using. In January of 2023, they released dozens of clips of the leopards walking along those trails. In fact, they said that the cats were being spotted as many as 25 times per day. While this has reignited hope that the Anatolian leopard is back in Turkey to stay, current estimates put their population within Turkey's borders at less than 20. More work needs to be done to protect them from hunting and to set aside wild spaces where they can thrive. The cougar is one of the most widespread animals on Earth with a range that spreads from parts of northern Canada and southern Alaska all the way down to Patagonia. In North America, they used to live from coast to coast, but they've since been eliminated from most of the central and eastern parts of the continent. Today, the only cougar population in the eastern United States is in Florida, where they're called Florida panthers. Florida panthers are extremely rare, they only occupy about 5% of their former range, and their population is at less than 200 individuals. They mainly inhabit Everglades National Park and Big Cypress National Preserve, though they often stray out of these protected areas. In 2012, Florida panthers had one of their deadliest years, with at least 26 animals being found dead, mostly from being struck by vehicles on highways. But in December of that same year, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service made an exciting announcement. An uncollared female was caught on a camera trap, moving three of her kittens to higher ground. Heavy rains likely meant that her den was in danger of flooding. Researchers had seen this female before, but she wasn't regularly monitored, and they didn't know she was pregnant. In June of 2019, this mother and her kitten were caught on camera by the Florida Wildlife Federation. This sort of sighting is so rare that it made national news in the United States. Sadly, they are still under extreme threat of extinction in Florida. In 2022, 27 Florida panthers died, primarily from being struck by vehicles. And in 2023, 13 more were found dead. Officials in Florida continue to urge people to slow down and pay close attention on sections of road where the panthers are known to cross.
While the large species of cat are relatively well known, the small and medium species are often never talked about. In a small section of Central America and in much of the Amazon rainforest lives a species of cat called the Oncilla, or Northern Tiger Cat, which is about the same size as an average house cat. While they have quite a large dispersal, their population is estimated to be quite small, with somewhere between 9 and 10,000 wild Oncillas surviving across their range. The species is nocturnal and secretive, but it's frequently killed by local hunters who catch them for their fur. Some recent studies suggest that the Oncilla may be the most hunted cat species in the Amazon. All of these factors together make a sighting of the species extremely rare. In the upper Amazon river basin of Bolivia lies Madidi National Park, one of the largest protected areas in the world. Within the expanse of the park were five known wild cat species, the jaguar, puma, ocelot, jaguarundi, and the margai. But the Oncilla was conspicuously absent. In July of 2012, the Wildlife Conservation Society set up camera traps in the park to survey some of the wildlife. They were shocked when they checked one of the cameras and discovered this picture. It's the first evidence of the Oncilla in the park, bringing the total number of confirmed cat species in the region to six. This photo won the BBC Camera Trap Competition in the New Discoveries category and was subsequently published in the BBC Wildlife magazine. Found from China in the north to Indonesia in the south, and as far west as Nepal and eastern India, Asian golden cats are an extremely rare, solitary, and elusive species. They're about twice the size of a house cat, and they show more variation in fur color than almost any other wild species of cat does. They can be brown, chestnut, or even gray. In Sumatra and parts of Nepal and India, they can sometimes be black. But the rarest color form is found in parts of China. The Asian golden cat is normally a single solid color, with stripes on the face and some modeling on the chest but they carry a recessive gene that sometimes makes them look very different. It gives them rosettes, almost making them appear like an entirely different species. In Bai Shui Jiang Nature Reserve in central China, this rare color form is now known to occur as it was captured on a trail cam in June of 2014. The images are fleeting but clearly show an extremely rare, spotted, Asian golden cat. The current population in China is thought to be between 3,000 and 5,000 cats today. Another small cat of South and Southeast Asia is the fishing cat. Again, being about twice the size of a domestic cat, the fishing cat is distinguished by its yellowish-gray fur, mix of spots and stripes, and relatively short tail. As their name suggests, the species hunts fish, with as much as 75% of their diets consisting of them. They have partially webbed feet that allow them to swim extremely well. They've been documented swimming long distances, even being able to swim underwater. As they mainly eat fish, they're heavily associated with wetlands and other aquatic habitats. This type of habitat is under threat globally, and much of the wetlands in Asia that the species relies on have been polluted and altered for human use. This means that the fishing cat population has declined dramatically. In just the last 15 years, there has been a 30% reduction in their numbers. Not only do they suffer from habitat loss, but they're also regularly hunted as local fishermen see them as a nuisance. In Cambodia, the fishing cat is almost gone. Between the years of 2000 and 2014, the cats only had two confirmed sightings in the entire country. But in 2015, villagers reported seeing what they believed to be fishing cats near a couple of nature preserves. Conservationists sprung into action, 
setting up 32 camera traps throughout the parks. Amazingly, they captured not just one, but two fishing cats on different occasions on their cameras. One was a male, and the other was a female. A fishing cat conservation action plan was immediately drawn up, with the goal of educating local communities on the benefits of keeping these cats alive. And that's it for today's video. Why not check out the other videos in this series to see what interesting species have been found on camera traps? And if you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.